Bezia trees pose a huge threat to native forests across the state, and they're also safety hazards. Jelani Martinez has more from residents dealing with those invasive species. Albizia trees have large, brittle branches. This one in Kalihi Valley has branches hanging over homes, which worries residents, especially when it's windy. They're, they're a nuisance in many aspects. Albizia trees are extremely fast growing and can reach up to 15 feet per year. Its growth rate and large, fragile branches can drop at any time. There's a tall Albizia tree behind Michael Skidelsky's Kalihi Valley home. Yeah, I would say during hurricane season, during storms, that's when you get the most concern, right? Especially when the ground is saturated. According to the Hawaii Invasive Species Council, Albizia trees are widespread on Oahu, Kauai, Maui, and the Big Island. Michael and his neighbors have considered cutting down the tree, but that could cost at least $10,000. Potentially $100,000 seed. Over the weekend, the Ko'olau Mountains Watershed Partnership educated the public on how they can remove the trees before it's too late. Experts say albizias are a threat to the ecosystem and upper watersheds. They suggest tackling the trees when they're babies. What that means is a decline in the ability for our forests to capture and retain watersheds, uh, water, and so that can potentially lead to a reduction in uh, water production. You know, we've found it pretty effective to be able to regionally eradicate them from our upper watersheds. And then with initiatives like today where we teach homeowners how to identify the small seedlings, it really allows communities to, to, to gain headway and take their community back from these invasive trees. Watson says albizias have small green leaves. To identify a baby one, look for a cluster of leaves at the growing tip. Jelani Martinez, Hawaii News Now.